everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie, if you are new, you are so welcome. Today I'm bringing you a what's in my makeup bag video. Now this is just my small makeup bag that's like a general grab and go bag that I use as has everyday items that I use in it. And I was just gonna talk you through. Channel Mum are running an incredible competition at the moment, so go over to their website and you could win 250 pounds worth of benefit products. Um, which sounds amazing, so definitely go and check that out. And yeah, I'll just get straight into my video. Then I have the um, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is something that everyone raves about. It's really good, really good coverage. For covering up acne, it's excellent. Um, not so great for under the eyes as it does crease a bit, but I really like it for that. If anyone knows, a really good, like affordable under the eye makeup, um, under the eye concealer, then please let me know because um, I haven't found one that I love yet. I should just say, generally with makeup, I think that it's not worth spending loads of money. This is obviously just my opinion. There are things like foundation. If you have problematic skin, it's so worth spending a bit more, and this one is fairly pricey. Um, and then I have a couple of MAC lipsticks that I love. But generally, um, I just like to go for like mid of the range type stuff or even cheap proper cheapos. You'll see I've got some really cheap things here that I actually really like. So it's just like seeing what works for you. Next is a blusher. This is by a brand called Essence. And I'm, I'm sure some of you might have heard of them. But it is a um, brand that's cruelty free and it's super cheap. You can get it in Wilkinson's in the UK. And I have one, two, three, four things from them. A mascara, an eyeliner, and an eyebrow pencil. And this brand is so incredible for its value for money. This mascara is just as good as the Maybelline Long Lash Sensational, whatever that's called. Um, and if you use it with a eyelash curler, it really, really does the job. Um, and then this eyeliner, is like a tattoo like it just doesn't budge once you've got it on obviously with eye makeup remover it's fine and then black I have a I have such dark eyebrows as you can see so I use a black um, eyeshadow pencil and yeah eyeshadow eyebrow pencil and yeah it comes with this little spoolie thing um, and yeah they're all great value for money next is an eyeshadow base this is the Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC and it's in the shade Painterly and it's quite a thick um, consistency and you put it on your eyelids as a base for, you could just wear it on its own, it's quite nice, or as a base for eyeshadow and that's how I use it generally. Um, so that's another like higher end price thing or like mid of range. Um, and then I have another MAC product which is a lipstick. I have Velvet Teddy and MAC Mare at the moment. MAC Mare is in my grab and go bag. Um, and another lip product I have is the Laura Mercier Lip Pencil. I haven't got much of this left and it's so expensive so I probably won't get it again. Woo! But this is the shade. Oh, it's all rubbed off. Oh, it's called Rosewood. I love this shade. Yes, so love that. Eyeshadows. Um, Eyeshadow is something I think if you find a good consistency for a good price, go with it. And these Revolution palettes are incredible. You can get them in Superdrug. And this one is called Run Boy Run. And I love it. I love it because it's got really like great all year round colours. These are the kind of colours I wear. And these two at the moment, the um, gold, goldy bronze and the like berry bronze, are the two that I wear all the time because it's autumnal and I'm absolutely loving wearing these. So if you want like a quick see me doing my everyday makeup at the moment then um, leave a comment below because I would love to do that for you guys. Another brand that I like heavily rely on is a brand called Gosh by Superdrug and they do um, really cheap products. Well actually it's not that cheap, like mid of the range kind of cheap <laughs> with um, really good quality. You could use this as a base, but it's definitely not my skin colour. Um, I just tend to put it on top of my blusher um, just to add a bit of like a sheen. I've got quite textured, pory skin on my cheeks. So if I put a highlight powder on, it tends to really show up all my pores. So I like using this because it makes a huge difference. My bronzer is also from Gosh, but that's totally smashed. I need to get a new one. I um, stupidly had it in my handbag. And then, in terms of brushes, mostly I have Real Techniques ones. 
um, and but I've just been bought this for my birthday, this Eco Tools one, and I really like it. It's such a nice shape. It's a really good powder brush, but I use it for bronzer or blusher. But yeah, in terms of tools, all I have is this little eyebrow brush thing, this little eyebrow brush thing. <laughs> um, I can sometimes use this for eyeshadow as well. Um, but yeah, I have all my brushes out anyway, so I don't tend to have them in a, my little pouch. The last thing is um, this, I've recently started using a fixing spray, like a mist, uh, what's it called? Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray by Revolution Pro Fix. And I really like this, it really makes my makeup stay. I think if you have an expensive foundation but use a cheap um, spraying fixing mist, it tends to be quite a good combination. I love using that, it just helps make my makeup stay in place. So yeah, that is everything that's in my bag. I feel like I've been talking so fast. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have found some bits that you like. Um, I used to be such a sucker for buying makeup every week and um, now I just stick with the things I like. Like I know I will never leave this foundation. It is my favourite of all time. So yeah, um, find what you love and stick with it and be willing to pay a price for the expensive things that are worth it and just skimp on the things that you don't need to spend money on. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Like I said, go over to Channel Mum and check out their competition at the moment. Um, I would love it if one of you guys won. Thank you for watching as always and I will see you guys in my next video.